Once you have a clear outline for your paper, and you've thought about how your quotations and thoughts fit together, you're ready to start writing. With Satavi's add-in for Word, you can enter references and quotations into your document, formatted according to the citation style you choose. A bibliography is automatically inserted at the end. To use the add-in, open your Word document and click the Satavi tab. Then click Satavi pane and assign a project to your document. Next, before you get started, decide what kind of citation style you want to use, if you want to work with footnotes or with in-text citations. You can change your citation style up on the Citation Style menu. The styles that you've opened in Citavi will be displayed here, but you can also add additional styles. Next, insert your categories as headings. Right-click a category and then click Insert Categories and Knowledge Items. Here you have a few different options. You can include your knowledge items if you want. That will mean that all of your quotations are inserted at once. However, this can make your paper end up sounding like a string of one quotation after another, and that's not the best writing style ever. For this reason, we think it's better to insert quotations while you write, so we usually suggest only selecting all categories. Satavi will then insert your outline for your paper, using the word heading styles. To make this a little easier to look at, you can go to the Home tab and then choose a little nicer layout. Then, start writing. By clicking the Chapter tab, you can view only the knowledge items and references relevant for a particular section of your paper. Here I have a few quotations, and I can double-click to insert them. You can insert direct quotations as well. To insert an image quotation, it works the same way. Here I've clicked into a new chapter. Notice that the items I have available have changed. Whereas in my introduction I only have a handful of quotations, in my first topic chapter, I see an image quotation, and then lots of references. I can double-click my image quotation to insert it, but if I simply want to cite a source, I can insert that as well. For example, a simple citation, such as this. It's also possible to insert a multiple citation. So, for example, let's say we want to cite several books on a topic. I can double-click each reference one by one, or I can select them holding down the control key and then right-clicking and selecting Insert. If I don't want my citation to appear in parentheses like this, but instead I want to name the author at the beginning of the sentence, I can click Insert Advanced and select the author year format. If you ever need to add additional information to a citation, such as the page number, you can edit it by clicking it and then going to the Citations tab. Here you have a few different options for adding additional information or changing the formatting. I'll go ahead and add my page number here. When you insert your different sources and quotations in this way, Citavi will automatically create a list of references at the end of your paper. As a reminder, you can change the citation style by going to the Citavi tab and choosing a new style. Notice that the references are updated to match the new style. In this case, a style that uses reference numbers sorted in the order you cited them in your paper. You just learned how to write a paper using Word and Citavi. This is the last video in the Ready, Set, Go series. Please let us know what you thought in the comments. Also, we're adding new videos all the time, so please subscribe to our YouTube channel.